So on few occasions, I've had to deal with labored breeding in chicks, but it never bothered me until recently when I started to get reports from farmers about close to 10 farmers reporting the case of labored breeding in their chicks of about two to four days old and this has got them worried so i decided to make a video to address this situation in today's video i'm going to be addressing the causes of labor breeding in your chicks and how you can manage the situation or the treatment for labor breeding so welcome back to diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner today we'll be talking about two main causes of labor breeding in chicks and the first one is chronic respiratory disease or CRD, which of course I've made at least two videos that address that situation, and I'll be leaving their link in the description below. So make sure you watch the video on chronic respiratory disease CRD after this video. All right, so the next cause of labor breeding is actually aspergillosis, otherwise known as brooder pneumonia. Brooder pneumonia can actually come from the artery in a case where there is a contaminated egg that actually exploded in the incubator and infected the other eggs and the chicks just came out with aspergillosis that is one cause of aspergillosis another predisposing factor of aspergillosis is extreme cold and this often happens during transportation as drivers transport their old chicks during the cool of the day or especially in the night the chicks that are exposed to lots of draft can come up with brooder pneumonia another cause is lots of ammonia in the brooder house or wet litter the organism responsible for aspergillosis is actually fungi and fungi thrives well in warm and wet regions your chicks can also come down with brooder pneumonia as a result of their feed if there is fungi in the feed that's why it's important that you store your maize and other ingredients without lots of moisture in them scientifically they say there's no treatment for pneumonia so synthetically there's no antibiotics that just addresses aspergillosis however it is important that you manage the situation by avoiding re-exposure to the fungi you try as much as possible to remove the cause of the infection if it's from the environment that you want to clean the litter disinfect the place and put fresh litter if you're able to prevent your best from being re-exposed to the causal organism then you are going to be increasing their chance of survival all right, so since they say there's no synthetic solution for this, maybe I should just tell you some of the things that you can use to combat it organically. Welcome to the organic poultry world. So organically, even though there are a couple of organic treatments to aspergillosis or brooder pneumonia, I'm going to be mentioning two in this video, two effective ones. And number one is the use of garlic. Garlic has been found to exhibit antibacterial and antifungus properties among many others so it is actually effective in the treatment of aspergillosis or brooder pneumonia all you need to do is crush garlic either in a mortar or you blend it in your blender and administer to your cheeks preferably the affected cheeks should be given by mouth also you make sure that you give more concentrated amount of garlic to the birds that are already affected so the second organic treatment for aspergillosis that i will be talking about in this video is coconut oil coconut oil has also been found to be effective in the treatment of aspergillosis all you need to do is administer the oil you can add the oil to their drinking water but also to those of them that are already affected by the aspergillosis and they're already experiencing labored breathing ensure that you administer the coconut oil directly into their mouth directly into their mouth that will ensure that the fungi is dealt with regardless of the measure that you are taking one other very important thing to do is to ensure that there is ventilation so that there is easy passage of some fresh air with oxygen and the hot air with carbon monoxide is being let or pushed out of your chicken barn. All right, so that's it. And don't forget to check the video on CRD as chronic respiratory disease is the other disease that causes labored breeding in your chickens. And any disease that has to do with respiration can easily take the life of your birds and cause them to go to sleep. I know you don't want that. So once again, this is DIY Agri, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. Till we meet again, peace.